morning, I'm John Ferrante. I'm an assistant production manager here at Allstead Farms. Today we're going to talk about uh, no-till uh, pumpkin production. Uh, it's a new technique that we've started using. Uh, this is the first year that we're, that we're doing it and it's, um, there's a lot of benefits to no-till uh, production, especially in pumpkins. Uh, it has a lot of benefits for the soil, soil health, it increases organic matter. But for us, the main goal here is in being in Northern Jersey is, is you can see here is farming on steep hills is kind of inevitable. So on our farm, we worry a lot about soil erosion and maintaining our you know soil structure. So what we did here is with no-till, it means you don't invert the soil. So in this field, we planted a crop of rye, winter rye, and that was to perennial rye, which overwinters. We planted it last year. Um, and then in this spring, we did a, a method called crimping and, and crimping basically terminates the rye and flattens it out so that we can then plant our pumpkin crop into it. The advantage of having the rye crimped, which is, you can see down here, is this is the flat rye that was planted over a year ago. And then we crimped it in the spring. And this flattened rye provides, uh, one, it's weed suppression because um, it's such a thick mat. And then also what it does is it provides a a surface for rain to rather than hit and dislodge soil particles it hits the the rye and makes it so that when heavy rainfall events which are becoming more common we don't get as much soil erosion and, and soil moving away from the field um, and then the other advantage is is if a pumpkin is laying down on top of the rye it means that the pumpkin on the bottom has a nice clean surface on the bottom rather than you know being muddy that's kind of a, a secondary um, um, that uh, advantage of it. So another uh, good advantage of the, the, the winter rye is that it scavenges and uh, collects the nutrients that are, that are left in the soil throughout the winter so that we don't lose those nutrients. So the, the winter rye will grow a little bit now and then in the spring it'll grow a lot more which is you know that's what this plant is and then that plant will then be will then recycle the nutrients back into the soil which then the pumpkins get to use for the, the following year. Yeah, so this is the this is the first year that we've done no-till pumpkins on the farm. We're hoping to do more next year, and next year we're also uh, starting no-till sweet corn. So hopefully we'll be able to expand on the no-till practices and all the advantages that it has. Um, it's a learning experience, so you know every year hopefully we can build on it and get better and better and improve our our agronomic practices on the farm.